<laughs> Ni howdy. Recently our dogs have been going around getting into a little bit of trouble going into the neighbors houses so we have been installing a shock system around our fence. Comes with this very cool watch. We've been installing the system all day just wiring the whole thing up around the perimeter and now we're setting up flags just to let the dogs know exactly where they're going to be in trouble and where they should avoid. You might be able to see a few flags there. I'll just go back there and demonstrate. Warning you with a beeping signal. And if I go a little bit further, yeah, <laughs> to get a little shot. It's not too bad. We haven't set it crazy high or anything. Yeah, got a few more left to install out that way. But I've found that it's pretty inconvenient to have this around my wrist. I reckon since the dogs do it, why am I missing out on the fun? So it's gonna be me. As I set up the last few flags, it should indicate to me whereabouts I should put the flags. Don't try this at home. Me <laughs> howdy. All right. Let's go into the paddocks. So I guess the challenge for me is not to get shot. <laughs> See a good example for the dogs? <laughs> Hopefully I don't get shot. You can see whereabouts I've planted flags up to and then it's up to us to do the rest. I just hope I've done it right or else it's going to start shocking me very soon. There's the last flag so in theory if I go a little bit that way I will be shocked. I'll just test it out. Just the warning. Just, just the oh there's the warning. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so it just goes from the warning straight to the shock straight away. <laughs> Let's get to work. Maybe one more try. <laughs> Big fail. <laughs> I got shocked a few times. Ole! I intentionally went a bit closer to the fence just to test that the warning distance was accurate to where I was putting the flags. Sometimes it just ended up shocking me. I guess I failed my challenge. <laughs> but you know what? Failing the challenge doesn't mean you failed the day. This one's for all the dogs out there watching. <sighs> Let's go. You may have also noticed that I'm keeping quite low when I put the flags down and this is because around the perimeter where we've got the wire there's a range around there where the dogs can get shot and because the dogs are quite low and I'm taller I have to get to their level to see around where the distance is that they start getting shot so if I stand up I get the tss. <laughs> I got shocked four times in one go. <laughs> in all honesty, it doesn't actually hurt that much. It works. <laughs> I don't want to go near there. Grab the flag. I'm moving it a little bit out. Don't want them to be shocked too close. <laughs> the collar is more annoying than the actual shock. Ah, it's not what I wanted. The last set of flags for the last stretch and we'll be done oh no oh shocking me i think we've actually come a long way with this youtube channel and just wanted to thank everyone thanks for watching and hopefully you continue to stick around stay watching i wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun and hopefully you guys are having fun too watching me in pain you sick people <laughs> Last pack, last stretch. Oh. <laughs> if I haven't seen this before, <laughs> don't try this at home. Right on this cow pad. Please.
No more. No more. All right, for the rest, we're gonna speed run it any percent. So I don't care if I'm getting shocked. I'm gonna finish it in the next one minute. Let's go. So, so everything's done. We used every last one of the flags. That ended up being perfect. Thanks for watching me be in pain, guys. You guys really loved that. Then, if you like this sort of stuff, you can hit the thing button, or maybe. If you like the farm, you might like this video here.